Hi guys, this is Aruva Chan and today I am going to give you a few tips to get out of an art slump. So I recently have been not hating my art, but I kind of have been unsatisfied with what I've been doing. And I really didn't know where to go and what to do. And I was continuously making stuff that I really just wasn't proud of. And I, you know, didn't personally even like, like it wasn't even appealing to me. So I, I was in, I was in somewhat of a slump and I still probably am, but I've taken steps to get out of this slump. So one of the steps that I did was I drew lots and lots of different things, things that I've never drawn before. And I feel like that definitely, it broadened kind of my idea spectrum. Like the thing I'm drawing right now, I've never drawn something quite like this. And the only reason I started was because I saw a picture that was fairly neon. I don't know if anybody knows it, but it's from, I believe, League. And it was this girl, she was almost entirely neon. And I was like, wow, like that's really cool. So I kind of like stored that away into my mind. And I later had drawn something with just the brightest neon colors and it looked amazing i loved it so much because it was something that I, i'd never drawn before so kind of uh going along with that kind of mentality i drew this picture which if you're watching you can see i'm i'm struggling in a few places like i don't i don't know how to do the body placement the the angles like the body looks fine in a lot of places but the angles feel weird and they feel stiff so i i change it up a lot but the first tip is draw things that you wouldn't normally draw and i definitely think this is something that i it's similar to what i draw like i draw a lot of girls and i draw a lot of you know um I guess pretty stuff but it's mostly like anime like right now I'm painting I'm painting color on a black canvas this is all one layer and it feels good it feels right it feels smooth and if you're looking now this is one of the moments where I just changed the position of my character because it just doesn't feel right um so Try out new stuff. Like if you if you don't do abstract art, maybe try some abstract. Like it doesn't have to be like cubism or whatever, but try to do something abstract. Try to draw stuff that's kind of not out of your comfort zone, but stuff that you wouldn't normally professionally draw. Like if you're stuck in a rut and you, all you draw is anime, maybe draw some cartoon stuff or maybe try some realism because I know for a fact that when I draw realistic stuff, I, I really like the way it comes out more than my anime stuff, in fact. Like, this is more of um, something maybe like I would see at Blizzard or along those lines. And I absolutely, like, makes my heart feel so good because if I would see it in a company that I think is super professional, then I'm really happy about that. But... I definitely think you need to try to do stuff that you wouldn't normally think to do. Which is hard because you don't know what you don't think. But look at other artists and see what they're doing and maybe try to imitate that. Like, the neon thing is... I absolutely love it. And I definitely think it really worked for me here and I had a lot of fun doing it. So the second tip, which I actually got from one of my friends, um, she said, have other artists look at your art. So I, <laughs> I don't usually do this often because I feel like it's like, Hey, look at my thing. But I 
have been doing a lot of talking with other people and other artists because I do have a discord um, I can actually get feedback on my stuff really fast and if I want to be like hey you know can you tell me what's wrong with this I can have somebody who's there who's already online to say yeah sure like and they'll they'll actually help me and it's it's really cool and I definitely think it's definitely helped me a lot uh, and I know a lot of people don't have this which join my discord join my discord um, a lot of people don't have this but you can go places join my discord you can go places where people can give you critiques and can kind of talk to you about your art and you can see yourself improve on my discord um we literally have a channel on my discord where it's uh critiques art critiques and you know every once in a while uh, i'll give a critique and you guys can see what kind of stuff that you need to improve on and the stuff that you're doing really good <laughs> um i definitely think that kind of stuff really helps especially when you're just beginning art I know a lot of people have been doing art for like a year or so like that's pretty much just beginning for me um you need that time with other people to show you kind of the stuff that you can draw like if you if you play games with other people and draw you are kind of finding your style and finding what you like and finding what you don't like and that's really important because you really need to know what you like and you really need to know what you don't like because the stuff that you don't like is the stuff that you need to start working on. Okay, and the third and probably final uh, thing is you need to draw with other people. And I know this is going to be like, how do I draw with other people? All of my friends live online. Uh, you need to either, I know this isn't available in all countries, but you need to download Draw Pile and draw with people online or go on to drawing hosting websites like iScribble or um, any of the various ones and just watch other people draw there. Like they'll, they'll be drawing in real time so you can kind of observe, but you can also play games with them. Like when I was younger, I played a drawing game where you had a time limit and it really made me draw I, it made me draw quicker for one but it really made me use references for the other I, and I really got better at a lot of the stuff that I did because I was using those references and because I had to work so fast but it was it was really really instrumental to me actually being able to do the kind of stuff that I do now because I had to draw weird stuff like stuff that I wouldn't normally draw like animals like I, I haven't drawn an animal in forever but I still doodle them occasionally uh, and when you're drawing with friends you get that kind of feedback immediately say um, how does my you know my little pony look like how does my OC look and your friend who's like you know maybe they're across the country but they're sitting right in front of you in the chat room they, they'll say OMG, I want to draw one too. And that's like super validation right there. Like you're getting, you know, maybe you're not getting a critique, but you're getting somebody else who's also interested in the stuff that you're doing. And a lot of the time when you're drawing with somebody else, they will start drawing what you are drawing and you will start drawing what they are drawing. And you'll, you know, you'll have that inspiration from drawing with them. And you need to take some time to you know, hone in on all of that inspiration that you've gotten and just kind of let it out. And I think I have one more, one more quick one. The last tip is you need to actually spend time and sit down. Just as if you were doing your homework, you need to sit down and give yourself an hour or however long you have probably more than a half an hour so you know don't stress yourself out um to just draw set a time for yourself and you know whether this is in study hall or if you know you're doing it on the bus or if you you know you're doing it after your job 
set a time for yourself just to do drawing. And I know I remember hearing this when I was younger and I didn't have the time, but I ended up drawing anyway. That's what I mean. Find yourself a time where you can draw. It doesn't matter if it's in math class, after you're done all of your homework or, you know, whatever, but draw. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more stuff from me, please ring the bell. I do have a notification squad and they are pretty cool. If you are interested in joining my Discord, there is a link down in the description. I am serious. We are so nice and we always, 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 wel well, we always welcome new people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!